Hi there students, welcome back. In this unit we're going to be looking at family and friends and we're going to be looking at the present simple tense. Here's a picture of my mum and dad. Here's a picture of my father when he was a bit older. This is a picture of my mum. This is a picture of me with my granddad and my dad and the pet, my dad's pet cat there as well. And here's a picture of my auntie. And here's a picture of my family now with my wife, my two sons, uh, my baby son, Ben is now two years old and um, that's my daughter in the middle there. Okay, so we'll now have a look at the present simple tense. I'll explain to you how to use it. The present simple. We use the present simple to talk about something that happens regularly. Example, I brush my teeth every morning. The USA celebrates Independence Day on the 4th of July. So these are things that can happen every day or every year or every month or every week. We also use the present simple to say a fact that is true now. I live in Suntul City. I speak Mandarin. Idian <laughs> dian. So things that are true now. Okay. I'm married and I have three children. Okay. Now remember to use S for the third person singular. That's what you need to remember when you're using the present simple. So, I speak English, you speak English, he or she speaks English, or it, maybe it's a robot or a parrot. But the third person, we have to use the S on the verb. I go to church every Sunday. You go to church every Sunday. Bill goes to church every Sunday. So with go, we have put ES, um, or else it would sound a bit like goes. So it goes um, otherwise. Otherwise, we just use an, normally use an S, but there's another example here. I watch TV two hours a day. You watch TV too much. Sally watches TV all day. So we put an ES on watches. There. So some verbs take an ES, like finishes, but most verbs just take the S, like lives, works, speaks, walks, plays. It's just an add the S. Now, when we're using the present simple negative, we use the verb to do with the main verb. So, I don't like Jorian, you don't like Jen Cole, he doesn't like onions. So it's the same for the I and you, and then for the plural ones, they and we don't. But he, the third person singular again is different. He or she do, doesn't like. So remember the third person singular is different. 